Montreal will never be New York, but for 40 years, we could say we had a hockey team that was as great as their baseball team. The Canadians were the Yankees of the North. We had Richard and Bellevo. The Yankees had DiMaggio and Mantle. Guy Lafleur won Stanley Cups. Reggie Jackson won the World Series. Two organizations with the money and the know-how to beat everyone else. But while the winning continues in New York, championships are just a thing of the past here. Twice in the last five years, the Canadians haven't made the playoffs. They probably won't make it again this season. Gone with the championships are the sellout crowds. The Canadians are selling an average of just less than 20,000 tickets a game. That's down 1,000 from last year. The numbers are good compared to the rest of the league, but not what the team hoped for when they built the 21,000-seat Molson Centre. A disturbing trend is the no-shows. Saturday night at the Forum was a place to be seen in Montreal. That's not true at the Molson Centre. There were more than 5,000 empty seats at this game with the Atlanta Thrashers. They think that they can put just any product on the ice and people will come. Spending $150 per game to come see what's supposed to be the hottest show in town has become the, the, the laughing stock of the world, I think, right now. It's, uh, it's getting out of hand. It's crazy. The, the Montreal franchise is in trouble a little bit because, uh, because they don't win, because people are not renewing their season tickets. Serge Chavard is a former Canadiens player. He was also their general manager for 12 years. He says it's a dangerous time for the organization. We're lucky that we have, we have a, a national corporation, which is Molson, that owns the team, that, that, that has enough uh, money to, to keep it going. But uh, if we would have uh, an owner that uh, doesn't have as deep pocket as Molson, uh, the problem would be a lot, a lot bigger as we, uh, as we speak right now. The New York Yankees, world champions, team of the decade, most successful franchise of the century. There's no problem in New York. One of the reasons the Yankees keep winning is they're rich. Attendance is great. TV contracts are worth more than $50 million. The Yankees can afford any player they want. The Canadians only want players they can afford. The team lost at least $5 million last year. Ownership has put a $30 million salary cap on. More and more people are clicking away. The ratings for Radio Canada's Saturday night broadcast have dropped 20%. Weeknight games on RDS have dropped 40% over three years. There was a time when every Saturday game was broadcast on CBC's Hockey Night in Canada. This year, there are just 14. And good evening, everybody, here at the Corral Center. People here are as likely to see a Senators or Leafs game. The network is opting for a winning team over the color of the sweater. Even with all the history, the 24 championships, and the great stars like Richard, the Canadian sweater just doesn't mean what it used to. When players like Jacques Lemaire were on this team, just about everyone wanted to play for the Canadians. But that's changed. The constant media pressure and the higher income taxes are turning players off. Even some Quebec-born players don't want to come here. There's a lot of pressure, and some of the guys, they just can't stand it. They, they just can't cope with that. And they feel that they will have an easy, easier uh, stay somewhere else. If this is a crucial time in the Canadians' history, this is the man who's supposed to turn things around. Pierre Boivin is the new president of the organization. He declined to be interviewed for this story. His job is to make sure the team doesn't continue to lose money. At the same time, he's got to find some hockey people who can put together a competitive team. It's believed he'll be forced to make sweeping changes in the organization. Whether or not he does, the challenge remains the same. I think we will have to... Uh to fight through this, uh, be disciplined on the type of player we will get. Uh, and I think all the management and the coaching staff and everyone that will be uh, uh, in charge of the Montreal Canadiens, they will have to work, uh, I think, harder than the, the other teams to get, uh, to put a team, uh, you know, that will be a contender. Uh, in the NHL. The Canadians used to talk about preserving the dynasty, just like the Yankees. But now the Habs just want to be competitive. If hockey is going to survive in Montreal, people here are going to have to adjust to that idea. 
the fans here were spoiled. You know, uh, a lot of championships, a lot of great teams, and uh, you have to realize now that uh, we have to start from scratch. Things can change in a hurry in the NHL. Just look at the Maple Leafs. In two years, they've gone from laughing stocks to Stanley Cup contenders. But Montrealers can be impatient. The Canadians organization is about to find out just how faithful their new millennium fans are.